Welcome friends. In the data privacy series, in this episode, we will understand and learn about GDPR, why it is in existence and what the GDPR is. First of all, let's answer the question, why GDPR is all about? Why it came into existence? In January 2016, European Commission had announced that any European citizen's data, in bracket, the personal data, any tech giants of the world or any company of the world uses, then that company is abide to visit the GDPR compliant. Why it is so? Because many times it has happened that users' data is being misused, or in other words, is being explicitly used without consent of the user for their own benefits rather to the owner of their data. In this case, the user's data's ownership lies with the tech giants, hypothetically. Since then, they announced that from 25th of May 2018, the law called GDPR, that is General Data Protection Regulations, will come into existence where all the companies of any size, any scale, are buyed to follow GDPR compliant if and only if they are using European citizens' personal data. Now, let's consider what GDPR is. GDPR is not a certification or GDPR is not a standard framework like project management or any other body of knowledge. It's also not a set of checklists where user has to follow the checklist and you are GDPR compliant. Rather, GDPR is an attitude. GDPR is a mindset. GDPR is a culture within the organization where from top to bottom, for any size of the user, any volume of user, any ticket size of the user, all are part of GDPR law. So in one statement, GDPR is a law, law by the government, law by the authorities, a law that the, every organization has to follow because they are dealing with European citizens' personal data. There is so much buzz outside there. What has happened? Because currently we are sitting in July 2019. It's been more than one year where GDPR came into existence. We have had few cases, to be precisely, of some of the most used tech giants where they have been fined like millions of millions of dollars because they have misused the user's personal data and information. Is it to set the example? May or may not be. But rather, I would say, it's more often passing a strong message, not just to the tech giants, to the any size of the company and at the same time for the users that now you are the power. The power has shifted from the organization or the corporates to the users because till now what was happening my friends? These big giants were using your data to gain their revenue, to increase their profit but rather Thanks to European Union, they have come up with the GDPR law. The power is in your hand. As part of the GDPR law, you can control your data. You can decide where to use your data, where not to use your data. You can also control whether to share my data with any other third party or not to share. Just imagine a situation where you go to a restaurant and you choose the recipe, the best food that you make, the one of the biggest or the most famous chef of your city is making for you and you are getting the best output. Why is this so simple but it is so complex? Actually, it's fundamentally attitude point rather than the accepting point because till now, on the driver's seat, the tech giants were sitting. But now as a user, you 
you as the end user of the any of the services or the product offerings can control can manage the data you can instruct to the organization that how to use my data how this can be possible is it a miracle no my friends it's just a part of the law where you get to just aware just aware about the power you have power you possess on your hands gdpr is not a complex things but rather it's empowering thing it's an opportunity for the users to communicate with the organization that organization which they are using their your own data they are making money they are getting their businesses expansion using your own data don't do you think if you have such a power to communicate with any company who possesses your data empowers you gdpr is enabled gdpr is all about enabling the users the actual end users to do to act to deal with their own data how about getting this all the information on a piece of paper or maybe it's always good that you watch series like this about data privacy and you will get to know about many things about data privacy gdpr and around all around points why i am emphasizing so much on this data privacy and gdpr because as i said earlier today the data privacy is not a liability but rather it's an opportunity it's an opportunity for both the parties but i think organization will take their own part because they know the framework they know the laws but this is about you this is about people awareness this is about users gets aware about their own data a data that they own if you think that you have enough understanding then it's okay if you don't care about your own data then also it's okay but rather before jumping out of this video i would say just once visit view all the videos it will help you to take better decisions let's take data driven decisions rather than just on the gut feeling because now the power is in your it's more of a democratic approach that european commission has fallen down on the piece of paper and now it is in existence since 25th of may 2018 on the people of european citizens the same way is going for other areas also for your information many countries right now in the world be it many developed countries or many developing countries are currently drafting that country specific data protection bill i would advise you to just be aware be concerned about how your personal data is being used thank you for watching the entire video in the successive series of videos we will discuss more in detail about data privacy and gdpr law principally what are the actions that we can go ahead what are the benefits and what are the points to consider for organization as well as the users if you have any queries related to gdpr or data privacy principally please comment and don't forget to like share subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the notification thank you very much